Indeed it is. Michigan wins the national title. Booger McFarlane with us all morning long. And there he is, Sir Paul. Paul Feinbaum, who has been Jim Harbaugh's long-standing sparring partner <laughs> all of the back and forth over all the years. And so the table is set. America is waiting. Paul, Jim Harbaugh has won the national championship. What is your reaction? I say congratulations, and, and I, Greeny, I was cheering for him last night, and I can't explain it. I'm sure it's some weird thing uh, back when I was a baby or something, but <laughs> I don't know if I've ever been more wrong about anything in my entire life. Uh, I didn't think the guy would ever beat Ohio State. I said on your show a couple of years ago, uh, if, if I live to be 150 and I'm getting close, uh, but the point being, uh, this this is truly remarkable, and and. I, I, I don't want to be wrong about something, Greedy. You never want to be wrong. But if you're going to be epically wrong, uh, out of this uh, constellation, out of this universe wrong, I, I'll take it. And, and I think Jim Harbaugh has, has silenced all those who doubted him in the, in the early days. I'm not talking about what's happened this year. That's a whole different story. But in the end, uh, he, he has proven everyone wrong. How did he do it? Because, look, the reality is, and I'm a talk show host just like you are, Paul, and I'm, I'm charged with the same thing that you are, which is having something to say every single day. We can't speculate on what's going to happen in three years. So the reality of it is there were down moments. There were struggles over the years. There was a moment in time where he took a pay cut, and, and, and there were many who thought he was on his way out of there. And, and so how, in your view, no one follows this stuff more closely than you do, how did he get from there to where he was last night? Well, I think some of us looked at him and, and said he, he's old-fashioned. He, 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 he's, a, he, he's a creation of, of Bo Schembechler, his, his mentor. It, his practices are antediluvian, and in today's current college football world, it wouldn't work. But we forgot one thing. Not all of us, but I did. I forgot what a great coach he was. He w and, and you've talked about it already, why he may be going to the NFL tomorrow or, or whenever it is. He was brilliant in the NFL. And, and after a couple of years of getting his head bashed in at, at, in Ann Arbor, I think some of us just simply said, what's wrong with this guy? He can't adapt. And he never will be able to. But he did. Uh, and when he was at the precipice three years ago about to get fired, uh, he, he was building, uh, and, and fortunately for Michigan, Ward Manuel and that university stuck with him because what he's done the last three years is, has been just truly remarkable to watch. Let me get Booger on that, too, the former player and the analyst and your perspective on it. it. It is not inaccurate to say that there was a moment where it looked like the Jim Harbaugh return to Michigan was not yeah. going to work. Three years later, three playoffs later, a national championship later, how did he do it? Well, Green, I, I think all great leaders have to understand who they are and where they are in that moment in time and, and do you need to change. And, and I'll take you back to a moment when longtime Michigan defensive coordinator Don Brown was there. He had been there a long time. Ohio State was torching Don Brown every single year, to your point. And so Jim Harbaugh was at a crossroads. I got to get rid of somebody that's been a part of Michigan for a while, and I got to change what we do defensively because if we can't stop anybody defensively, we can't win. He got into the Baltimore Ravens coaching tree, Mike McDonald, and now Jesse Minter. It totally changed their program. Last night, the defense was the catalyst to winning the football game, uh, not necessarily the offense or the quarterback. And so I go back to when Jim Harbaugh made the tough decision to move away from longtime Michigan coordinator Don Brown, changed the defense to beat Ohio State, to beat that three wide receiver set and all those great quarterbacks that Ohio State had and Greeny. Wouldn't it be coincidence that last night, the team he had to beat to finally get Michigan back to prominence was very akin to Ohio State. Great mm -hmm. quarterback, three wide receivers. They throw the football everywhere. And so the change he made several years ago to beat his arch rival Ohio State was the same change that led him to beating Washington last night. And great leaders have to understand who they are and where they are in the moment of time. And I give Jim Harbaugh a ton of credit because they have to make tough decisions even when everybody on the left side said they should make them. He did it, and that's the reason why he's at where he's at. That's now. a really well made point, and, and I will remind anyone watching who doesn't immediately put it together the Baltimore Ravens are coached by his brother, John Harbaugh. So he obviously has an extraordinary knowledge of the people there and, 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 and the back and forth. So, Paul, before we let this go, because we, we cannot just allow you to be happy with this, the world does not want Paul Feinbaum <laughs> happy with Jim Harbaugh here. My friend Jeff Saturday has a question for you. Go ahead, Jeffrey. Well, for my two SEC men, here's my question. If Georgia was in that four, who's hoisting the trophy last night? Michigan. 
I oh. have said oh, all along I thought Georgia would be the best wow. state in the country, but after after last what? night, Coward. Uh, I changed my mind. And listen, hey, I say this to Georgia: Why if you wanted to be the champion, beat Alabama. Quit quit losing to them, <laughs> and and ultimately, the best team is the national champion. Booger, can you believe this? This is this is a moment unlike anything I've ever SEC heard. SEC traitor. They're going to lose their minds <laughs> in the southeastern part of the country. Paul <laughs> Feinbaum just said Michigan was better than Georgia. <laughs> Booger, do you agree? Uh, you know you know what, Greeny? I, I, I think I'm going to pass. I'm not going to answer the question because <laughs> I'm going to let Michigan have their morning this morning. Uh, Jim Harbaugh deserves to have his morning. I do know this. There's, there's a team that's only lost once in the last two and a half, three years, mm -hmm. and I guarantee you they would love a shot at the Michigan Wolverines. <laughs> and, oh, and Michigan has only lost twice. I mean, for the record, that's right, right, Michigan has lost twice. Boogs knows. And Boogs Georgia's knows. lost once. Booger, but you know what? Booger wants to make sure that he's welcome in all the that's restaurants exactly and every right. place he's got that's down there. Exactly right. Paul, oh, this is going to be. Paul, you're out. You might as well move up here to New York Seriously. with Greeny, bro. <laughs> you know what you're done, <laughs> Move the show. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're going to be just like Jeff drinking oat milk lattes with me, <laughs> which he does. By the way, I'm calling him out right now. Jeff Saturday. He may not be like a, you know, a liberal elite, but he drinks coffee like one. He is drinking oat milk lattes up here this morning. Yeah, are you is, or are you that not? Is, that is fact. That, that is, is exactly true. Right. Do all that tough guy talking. Do all that tough guy talking. Give something.